Which of the following atoms must have an octet when sharing electrons with other atoms? A. Nitrogen B. Boron C. Phosphorus or D. None of these. The octet rule is not a very strict rule. It's a good rule to follow to get a good starting structure for a molecule, but there are a lot of exceptions. Atoms in the second row can have less than an octet. For example, beryllium in BeH2 is surrounded by four valence electrons. Boron in BF3 is surrounded by six valence electrons. Nitrogen in NO is surrounded by seven valence electrons. Atoms in the third row can have an expanded octet. For example, phosphorus in PCl5 is surrounded by 10 valence electrons. The correct answer is D. None of these. Here are some examples of structures with atoms that do not follow the octet rule. Structures A, B, and C are resonant structures of boron trifluoride. Note that the boron atom in structure A only has six valence electrons around it. Experimental evidence in formal charges suggests that this resonant structure is more significant than structures B and C. Here are two possible resonant structures for the nitric oxide molecule. There is no way to satisfy the octet rule for both atoms in this case because the total number of valence electrons is an odd number. Recall that nitrogen belongs to group 5A and oxygen belongs to group 6A. Therefore, the total number of valence electrons is 11. The presence of an unpaired electron can be verified by subjecting the molecules to a magnetic field. The presence of an unpaired electron makes a molecule paramagnetic. Here's the structure for phosphorus pentachloride. Note that the phosphorus here is surrounded by 10 valence electrons. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Phosphorus is a third row element. Atoms of elements in the third row have a 3D subshell in their outermost shell. This allows them to accommodate more than eight electrons.